The super rich are pushing the boat out and buying super yachts. This cruise boat named Zen belongs to Chinese billionaire Jack Ma. It's estimated to be worth a whopping $200 million. The multi-billion dollar luxury boat industry is experiencing a healthy rebound. Sales of super yachts longer than 100 feet rose over 8% in the first nine months of 2021 compared to 2019. That's according to specialist publication The Super Yacht Group. The boom appears to be tied to new consumer habits triggered by the past 18 months, like an increased desire to avoid crowds amid a growing number of billionaires worldwide. This Barcelona maintenance shipyard is full to capacity with boats measuring up to 590 feet. Gemma Rubio is the commercial director of Spanish shipyards MB92. Uh, the industry is growing every year, so there are uh, boats manufactured per year always increasing. The order book of the new build uh, shipyard is also uh, booked probably until 2025 or tw even 27. So that also uh, generates more. So the owners that want to get a, a new boat, probably they, if they don't want to, to wait for that, they just jump to the second hand. And that increased the refit, obviously, when a, a new owner uh, purchases a yacht, they want to readapt it to their uh, expectations. The Super Yacht Group said over 200 new luxury vessels hit the water for the first time in 2021, while some 330 have been ordered for 2023. The cost of a super yacht can range from $10 million secondhand to $600 million new, industry figures show. Rubio explained that as more people buy new or second-hand yachts, the refit market expands. There's a, a set that it runs around the 10% of the, of the value of the purchase of the, of the yacht. Uh, it all can vary depending on, on the demands of the owner in terms of not only maintenance but uh, rebuilding and, and having new, uh, new spaces or modifications of the boat. But yeah, the average is around 10% of the, of the value. With the number of billionaires soaring to more than 2,700, according to Forbes, there is clearly money washing around. And the yacht sector is one of a few winners in the post-lockdown era, even as campaigners decry the impact of private yachts, jets and space travel on the environment.